Lolita, the beloved Miami Orca, has died a couple of weeks ago at age 57. The Miami Seagram had stated in line that the orca had shown signs of discomfort and seems to have died from renal failure. Sadly enough, the Seagram had started procedures to set free the animal and rehabilitate her in her natural environment, measures that were meant to happen in a year or so. Yes, I, I spent many years working here at the Sea Aquarium, and I did have the privilege of working with her many years as one of her trainers. And this is a sad day for me. I know a lot of people are probably experiencing some, some rough times in there, and there's many, many more people out there that she touched and got to work with for many years that I, I know are going through the same feelings I'm going through right now. Lolita Ortoki, a member of the Southern Resident Community, was captured in 1970 at age four in Penn Cove, Washington. Lolita Bay came later the oldest killer whale in captivity. Her capture was not standalone at all. In fact, abusive captures in the 1960s and 70s diminished drastically their population and southern resident killer whales are now an endangered species. Lolita was sold to Miami Aquarium and arrived in her new home on September 24, 1970, where she stayed for over 50 years to be the main attraction of the park. Meanwhile, several activist groups were campaigning against her captivity conditions and particularly the size of her tank. The tank was argued to be only the size of a hotel swimming pool and to be violating the animal and plant health inspection services standards, an operating unit of the US Department of Agriculture. Years of protests finally paid off when the Sequarium started engaging procedures to remove the orca from the park and relocate her in natural environment. Lolita was meant to cross the United States by plane to be sent in a transitional coastal sanctuary. The orca would be living in her natural waters, but with access to care and companionship when she needed, and once accustomed to her new environment, eventually would be able to leave the sea pen if she ever wished to. This retirement and relocation plan was a huge cost for this aquarium of about $20 million. Shortly after Lolita's death was announced, activist groups gathered to protest against the aquarium and animal captivity. Some may argue that these places, maybe without entertainment purpose, may help maintaining species that are endangered or suffering heavy population decline. The preservation of their environment and wildlife is more than ever an important question, with ongoing pollution, urban development, habitat degradation, hunt or even climate change and stories such as Lolita's may help change behaviors and current policies for the better. This is the end of the story. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and I hope to see you soon on Social Soda.